Welcome back. With hundreds of vendors, the latest home improvement trends, and more, you can find everything you need to build up or change your home at the Arizona State Home Show. It's actually happening right now at the TCC. And you're probably going to see or hopefully meet our next guest, a staple of the Antiques Roadshow. Daniel Buck Souls is joining us. You're the one who gets everybody excited or <laughs> breaks their hearts. I mean, you see that upfront reaction and you know what that's like. I mean, they think that something's, oh, this has got to be at least 500 grand. Oh, right. and, and we've had people come in and saying, oh, this came from Queen Victoria and it was made like 40 years earlier, right. but the family, oh. you know, that's, the family's made up this hard. great story to make it look good, you know? Right. So yeah, it's interesting. And how do you know the prices of all these different types of items. And we have a clock here, mm -hmm. and then you're, you know, you do comic books, you do the whole gamut. I predominantly do fine art and antiques, but I've been doing this my whole life. So I hate to say this, but it's been more than 45 years since wow. I've, I've been an auctioneer, and I just, I've handled literally hundreds of thousands of items. So you get to know pretty much where the trends are and what the values of items are. You have an eye for it, and you also know how to talk to people about it. If their expectations are way up here, you yeah. know how to bring them down a little bit. So I have an item here we asked a bunch of people at our station actually if they had any items that they thought had value or were vintage etc so this particular one is uh, from Eagle Van Bibber it's a dagger what do you what do you think about that item it appears to be Middle Eastern um, what we're looking at is a uh, dagger from the early part of the 20th century mm -hmm. what I like about this is I would suggest to your person here to have that steel blade cleaned up because it appears as though it has some very nice Damascus okay. and it's a way that they manufactured the steel when they forge it. And if that's cleaned up, that's going to help the value a lot if it actually is Damascus steel. My reaction is, is for somebody that has this, if this was to come up at auction, we'd be looking at about 60 to $90. 60 to okay. $90. Okay, they didn't give me an idea of what they thought it was worth, so maybe that's more than, right. than how they envisioned it. Um, I've got a little ring here. This is a, a great little early 20th century diamond ring. I don't know if they can pay, pull in on that. Yeah, I think they will. But it's a beautiful okay. uh, white gold, nice little diamonds in there. I know they have an appraiser, uh, appraisal excuse me, mm -hmm. on this ring that says that they were saying that it, it was worth about 800 to $900. Mm -hmm. right. And that's for insurance purposes. Okay. If you had to go out and replace it, what would it cost you to replace it? But fair market value on this ring, if you wanted to sell it between a willing buyer and a willing seller, you'd be looking at about 400 to $500. Okay, but a beautiful priceless, ring, though. though. And it goes with her uh, grandmother's ring, and that's, that's the reason right. she, she right. got it. So, so this pretty belongs great. to Katie Ford. Thank mm -hmm. you, Katie, for bringing that in. And then I think we were all excited about this piece. It's beautiful. Early 20th century clock, it's a mantle clock or shelf clock. Mm -hmm. um, it is a, does have a, what appears to be a 30 day movement and it's, it's wound in the back. There was a lot of these that were brought in the early part of the 20th century from Germany, from France. Mm -hmm. It's got the nice crystal pedestals on yes. here. What you're looking at was something like this had this been all original because you can notice that there's a lot of gilding mm -hmm. it was all gold at one point mm -hmm. and what you've seen is a lot of the gilding is missing from it if this was all a hundred percent this clock would be somewhere in the three to five four to six hundred dollar range wow in this condition you're going to be looking at about 150 to 250. Mm -hmm. okay. but it's a family keepsake and I Sentimental know that, value. right and Aaron Kalman brought us this and they said that it was mm -hmm. from their great 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 grandmother mm -hmm. I mean, his son is about two years old so it's a good story that right. family history mm -hmm. has has more value a lot of times than what it's what it's monetarily worth and then right. let's go to the uh, cash really register cool, yes John Hargraves again nice early 20th century probably 30s 40s cash register child's cash register right. Right. Toy. Um, it's just a toy cash <coughs> register it's a cute piece what you generally find with these is when they come up at auction they're about 20 to 30 dollars okay but yeah. a great conversational piece oh absolutely less. especially Definitely. if it came mm -hmm. down through the family right so that's yes. what's nice Agreed. and then the book the Hobbit yes. the, what's interesting about this is when I first saw this we recently sold two editions of The Hobbit. The first English edition for uh, $40,000. The first American edition we just sold for $9,000. <laughs> oh so I saw this one, I went, ooh, but it's the 30th edition. So uh, because okay. it's a 30th edition, it's much later. Typically what you're looking at is about 10 to $20. He knows how to do the showmanship too. I heard <laughs> you gasp <laughs> over here. Like, I'm telling you, that's <laughs> exactly how the reactions typically yeah, are. That's how they yeah. should be. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Last but not least, we have this, uh, I think it's a G.I. Joe box, right? It is, and again, it's from the 60s era. Um, it's nice piece. It's got some great con uh, condition with it because uh, a lot of times these are played with. So they lose their condition. Mm -hmm. So you're in a situation where this is in fairly decent shape. 
thing is, is they made a lot of these. They made a lot of GI mm -hmm. Joe stuff. So what you're finding with something like this, if it was, if you were to find something like this on eBay, I would expect it would probably be somewhere in the twenty to forty dollar range. Okay, so nobody's retiring as we speak yeah. in nobody's the newsroom or the GI sales Joe room. That's yeah. right. Nope. But still, all valuable pieces to them and their families. Exactly. Well, the good thing is, is we're going to be at the home show. I'm going to be down there tomorrow and Sunday mm -hmm. helping people. And I was telling a story before that not long ago, I actually had somebody come into the home show here in Tucson with a pair of 19th century Levi's blue jeans. They had no idea what they had. It came down in the family. They were the only known pair that had never been worn. Oh and we recently gosh. sold them for them for almost $100,000. Hey! Somebody bought vacation, a new house, tech. right? <laughs> Great down so, payment on a nice wow. house. But this is why we like doing these, because yeah. people don't always know what they have. Right. Mm -hmm. And if they're not careful, they can get taken advantage of. We don't buy anything. We strictly come here to help people identify what they have and value what they have. As and this see. is why people watch the show. A real expert. Right. Daniel, mm -hmm. thanks so much for making the time. Absolutely. It's Pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me on, and I'm going back out to enjoy that Tucson weather. Enjoy right? that. Pleasure <laughs> to meet you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank the you. Arizona State Home Show is happening today through Sunday at the Tucson Convention Center. Learn more by visiting ASIHomeshows.com.